weekend's here at Saturday morning, 9 a.m. ish. It's already 30 degrees. Um, we've got a cool day planned, but first things first, cool time. Some of you may have heard of the Budgeteers on YouTube. Um, they've sort of done two series, one traveling around Asia and one traveling around Central America on $1,000, seeing how far they can go. Um, Patty actually lives in Chiang Mai and we've caught up with him a few times, so today's going to be an interesting one. We're catching up with him to go and watch some rugby at a local Irish pub and the reason that it's interesting for both of us is because it's the New Zealand All Blacks, so our team versus the British and Irish Lions, uh, which is basically the team that he supports. So it's going to be a little bit of an interesting one as we head off to this pub today and we try and see whose team takes down the first test. Or blacks, or blacks. <laughs> <laughs> So we're just walking past this little grass field and I briefly looked and I thought, there's fucking crocodiles out there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I think it's just a couple of lumps of, uh, of grass there, Dane. Awesome swim and start to the morning. Uh, it's been a few hours now, we've been watching vlogs for the people that we follow. Just grabbing our stuff, we're heading out the door to go and go for a little walk first. We don't exactly have supporters jerseys so we've gone for the, the all black Arafang <laughs> look. Best we can do. <laughs> That's the best we can do with what we've got. On a supporters level, the all black works, but today is one of the hotter days uh, of late. I think it's about 35 now, and I don't know if that was such a good idea. <laughs> anyway, so we go for a walk now, and then we're gonna go catch up with a friend of mine, Steve, who I actually used to play rugby with in New Zealand, so I've known him for about 15 years. Um, and he's a Kiwi also, and I think we're all quietly confident. So we're gonna take this one down. There's actually three games. So the first one, pretty sure we can take it anyway and then we'll see what happens from there. to New Zealand. I think we'll definitely take that. Very good game. Close game. Actually almost was a couple of tipping points there where I think the Lions may have beaten us. For now we're wandering down and we're going back to that pizza place we went to the other night which is definitely the best pizza that we have had in, in Chiang Mai. My body is a gamble. <laughs> Well done, New Zealand, you won. <laughs> uh, what happened? Just according to this, a minute ago we were getting pizza after a rugby game. And then what was in the middles? Some swimming? Swimming. And now to watch TV and we lost a bit of context there though. I thought we were we were about to go sit down and get Patty's feedback on the game. We we're going for pizza. No feedback, just ice cream. And I think that's about the end of the day. Why? Because we're old. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's a, but it's eight o'clock. <laughs> As I'm sure you may have picked up, there was a few drinks in that scenario. A few good people, some good tunes, some good pizza. 
And I think this is the perfect example of what happens when you mix like a, a one o'clock chief Thai drinking session with a good win. Celebration. It sort of all slipped away on us, so I didn't actually get Patty's feedback on the game, but he, he did take it like a champ in the end. Yeah. So now, we, like I said, we're just grabbing some ice creams, and I think that's pretty much going to be us for oh, the rest of the night. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, subscribe, like, comment, eat Oreo ice cream. <laughs>